Hey collectors, welcome to this edition of Diecast Emporium. Today's going to be a collection update of my uh, diecast and brass CCM models in 1 to 48 scale. Uh, most all of these are diecast. There's only one that is brass. And just wanted to kind of give a uh, synopsis and give you a quick video of the new editions as of August 2020. So without further ado, hopefully this video won't be too terribly shaky. Uh, as obviously I'm holding the camera and then going over these. Um, so we're already 30 seconds into this video, so let's just go ahead and try this and hopefully it won't be uh, won't be too bad. So starting off, and again, bear with me on the lighting situation. You know, we're just going to kind of do the best we can here. So starting from left to right, we have the 651B wheel tractor scraper, the 657B twin engine wheel tractor scraper, the 657B um, coal scraper, then we have the 631K scraper, 637K twin engine scraper, and the 637 um, coal scraper. Next we have the 660 wheel tractor scraper, the 666 wheel tractor scraper, and then the PR660 uh, rear end dump. And then last on the shelf is the uh, 16M scraper. What's amazing to me, and you can really see once I turn the kind of the backlight on on the camera, is despite these being behind glass, it's amazing how much dust still gets in here. So these models, as soon as this video is, is completed, they are going to get dusted. Okay, next shelf. We have the... Uh, 76, 776 dump truck, uh, the 988 wheel loader, the back there is the 834 wheel dozer, this is the 992B wheel loader, 992B beadless tire wheel loader, 992C wheel loader, and then the 992C beadless tire wheel loader. Uh, hidden behind there is the uh, 769B off-highway truck. And then up here we have the, speaking of off-highway trucks, we have the 777G off-highway truck and the 77G uh, off-highway truck with the mega water container, water tank on the back. Down here, bear with me just a moment, we have, you know what, let's start in the back. We have the 245 front shovel the 385 front shovel, the three different um, 973 uh, track loaders. This one is with the open ROPS on it. This is the standard version with the ripper. And then this version, obviously, as you can tell, as is the demo configuration one. And then this is the 983B track loader. Up front, we have the 735B articulated dump truck, and then we have the first of a long line of dozers, and I'm probably going to screw this up, so please, please, please bear with me. So the first one is the 98K. This is the S version with the S blade with a single shank ripper, I think. Uh, next one is the U blade, and the U blade here, because it looks like a U has a three shank ripper, I believe. This one's real easy. Uh, this is the A version for an angle blade. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, these are the D9Gs. This has the D9 cushion blade. This one is pretty cool. It's two tractors in one. They actually call this the DD9G with the twin scrapers, or excuse me, twin dozers. I don't know where scrapers came from. And then this one is the D9G with the 9R ripper blade. So kind of a cool piece there. And then back here we have the D9L push dozer. Because it has a push blade. This is the D9L um, standard bulldozer. And it has a three shank ripper in the back. This is the new one that just came out recently. And then that's the D9L with the impact ripper. And up here is the largest bulldozer I have from them. 
so far. And that's the D10 that also has the U-Blade on it. And then back there is the 587T pipe layer. Now I say so far on the dozers is because hopefully at some point this year um, the the set of four uh, D11s are supposed to be out. But with Corona and everything else that's going on in the world, who the hell knows? So we can hold our breath. And don't go crying to CCM. It's not their fault. It's just a culmination of issues. And down here we have the excavators. Again, I apologize about the light. Over there is the um, 375L with the shear on it, so that's the demolition one. Back there, curled up, is the, that you can't see hardly at all. That's the mass excavator. Next is the uh, 245 standard excavator. That's one of my favorite CCM models. And then you have the 245 mass excavator. Then you have the 349 excavator, the standard version with the two buckets. The 385, I think that's a CL. Then you have the 6015B and the 6020B over here. And last but not least, because I had to move it out of the way, this is the standard uh, 375L with the long stick, sewer stick, whichever way you would like to describe it. So there you have it, collectors. That is, oh, I forgot one. I knew I was going to do this. I said I had one brass 148 scale model. There it is. The Cat 272C skid steer with attachments. You have a pallet fork, grapple, and obviously your bucket. So now we can say, there you go, collectors. That is my entire collection as of August 2020 of CCM models treasure each and every one of these in my collection. It's taken years and years and years to build up this collection. I think some of some people on YouTube um, seems to think that, you know, this stuff happens overnight. Obviously, those of us that, uh, you know, aren't 14 realize that, obviously, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, so, if you're lucky enough to have a, uh, to have a job that allows you to you know, cater to your hobby while still making sure your bills and stuff are paid, then consider yourself a lucky man or woman, especially in this day and age with everything that's going on in the damn world. So that's my lecture. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, let me know. Be kind. Help your friends. Help your neighbors. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. It's important. Talk to y'all later. This is Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Take care. Bye for now.